and welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I am Adrian, and today we are going to learn plank pose. Uh, plank is very common in a lot of active hatha yoga classes, and so today we're going to break it down and learn the proper way to build strength and be happy in plank. So hop on the mat. So we're going to begin on all fours. Taking a second before we break down plank to just kind of connect to this integration in the body that I feel like is so necessary in plank. So it's not just about strength. In fact, a lot of people think that they don't have the arm strength to do plank and it's, it's more than just these babies. It's, it's, it's from head to tail. Um, so we come to all fours. Wrists underneath the shoulders, knees directly underneath the hips. Just take a second here to press into the tops of the feet and let the knees hover. And then just notice what happens here. Does the head hang low? Do we collapse into the shoulders? What do you have to do to really come into your body? Crown of the head, tip of the tailbone. Couple of action points here. I'm gonna press up and out of the palms. The tendency is gonna to be to roll to the outer edges of the hands. I wanna really focus on pressing through the index finger and thumb and all this fleshy area fleshy area, hey -o, in between. One, that's gonna alleviate any undue pressure on the wrists. Two, it's gonna help me press in up and out of my arms so that I can create space in the shoulder blades so I'm not collapsing into the shoulders. So before we go into the full posture, let's just practice that here on all fours. Maybe on an exhale, find your breath, pressing into the tops of the feet, let the knees hover. Couple of action points, pressing up and out of the palms, index finger and thumbs, tops of the shoulders also roll out and away from the ears. Check in with your belly, drawing that navel up towards the spine. And then gaze is straight down, so we're not crunching the back of the neck here. We're not forgetting about the head and neck, so remembering the neck is an extension, a natural extension of the spine, pressing into the full area of the palm. Might begin to feel that warmth or that tremble. And then on an exhale, for following your breath, we release. You can take a second to just notice the sensations in the body. And then let's send it up for downward facing dog, which is how we'll head into our plank today, which is also how we head into most Hatha Yoga classes. Of course, no class is the same and there's no right or wrong way, but typically we'll come into this from downward facing dog. So from here, I'm gonna bring my awareness to my hands again, hasta bandha, the hand to earth connection, pressing into all 10 fingerprints and the area between the index finger and thumb. Now bring your awareness to your belly. Hug that navel up towards your spine as we rock forward. Arms perpendicular to the earth. I'm gonna bring my shoulders right above my wrists. So I don't want them to go in front. I want them to stack right above. Ah, and here I am. Now going through our checklist, crown of the head is extending forward, tops of the shoulders looping out and away from the ears. I'm pressing up and out of the palms, seeing if I can really create space between my shoulder blades here, so I'm not collapsing into the bones here. Ooh, that's hard, but I'm pressing up and out. Now sit bone to heel connection, I'm really extending through my heels here, tucking the pelvis. If you feel any pressure in your lower back, send that tail towards your heels, elongate in the lower back. Again, not collapsing, but pressing up and out. Don't forget to breathe here. We tend to hold the breath here. No bueno, breathe. Nice and long in the back of the neck, extending the base of the skull towards the front of the mat. And on an exhale, I can lower the knees and send it back for a rest, extended child's pose. Feel free to turn the palms face up here and breathe. You can rock the hips a little gently side to side. And then we dive in for more. Variations. <clears throat> There's always tons and tons of variations, hence the word variation. Uh, but I just want to offer a couple here. Uh, we can do half push-ups. So in plank, we're at top of a push-up here. I can lower the knees and make adjustments. Tucking my pelvis in, really stitching that navel towards the spine here. Shifting my heart forward. If you want to get schmancy on me, you can cross the ankles here. Ooh, doesn't matter. What matters is that we're aware all the way through the toes. As I tuck my pelvis, same thing here. Tendency is to collapse into the shoulders. I want to press up and out of the shoulders here. Find that long, beautiful neck. Gaze is down in between the index fingers. And here I'm getting the same benefits of plank. I'm building that strength from the crown of the head to the tip of the tailbone. 
in the abdominal wall, in the arms, but I'm doing it with good alignment, with integrity. You can start at half plank and then slowly build up to full plank. For people with uh, carpal tunnel or wrist issues, um, we can go on the elbows here. So same thing, elbows directly above the shoulders, fingertips pointing forward and come to plank here. This is actually a little bit harder for me, I should say. Nice straight line. Make sure you're not collapsing into those shoulders, particularly for those wrists. Make sure we're pressing up and out, so we're taking all that weight off the shoulders, or excuse me, off the wrists, and we're also um, not taking the shoulders in front of the wrists. Make sure the bones are stacked in your favor. To rest, we take it back, extended child's pose. Okie doke, so that was plank pose. Plank is awesome because we build uh, strength in the front body and the back body at the same time. Yoga! Uh, which, which means, uh, one, we're building strength in the body, um, but also uh, we're aiming towards a healthier spinal support, so better posture and um, hopefully less back pain. Um, great for the abs and tons of benefits, which I'll list on the blog. So visit the blog, yogawithadrian.com. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe to the channel, like Yoga with Adrian on Facebook so you don't miss anything, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you.